Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fallout 4 The Benevolent Leader Challenge, where I'm trying to get the settlement up to 100 happiness, and last time, we built an octagon, which is the next best -agon. Yeah, you can't build hexagons. It sucks. But hey, I'm happy with the octagon overall. We got some farming stuff, we got some basic beds. I do want to get stalls and stuff built, but that's going to require level 14. And I also want to do some decorating. And I also want to get cats. But for cats, I need Myalurk meat. And for that, I think the castle is going to be the best place to go to. But yeah, I've been told to go to Oberland Station, which I'm pretty sure isn't far away at all. Wait, is that my next Minuteman one? I thought I had a really difficult Minuteman quest to do, but apparently not. Wait, didn't Ten Pines Bluff give me something? Or did I do it already? No, I already did it, didn't I? Oh, okay, in which case, yeah, I'm just going to go to Oberland Station, because that's not even far away. And we're going to help them out, because I think after we do this, we might get a mission to take the castle. And getting support on that would be great. Here we are, Oberland Station, and yeah. Even discovering places is a reasonable bit of XP. I really like getting XP for discovering locations. I think I just like to explore open worlds and be rewarded for it in minor ways. <clears throat> Did the Minutemen send you? Uh, yeah, they did. Yes, I'm here to help. What's going on? There's a group of raiders that won't leave us alone. Stealing our food and supplies. Threatening us if we can't give them what they want. We know where they're coming from, but we can't stand up to them ourselves. Don't worry. I'll take care of those raiders for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Alright, now Backstreet Apparel's actually... Yeah, pretty easy, I think, to deal with. Yeah, I know that one. Okay, um... Is this gonna be risky? Screw it, let's do it anyway. I'm travelling to the USS Riptide. I hope it spawns me up top, or otherwise I'm going to be surrounded by a bunch of raiders. Including one in power armour. I've made a mistake here, haven't I? Alright, that's not too bad. It actually spawns me here, which is perfectly fine. That is good to have. Now, I can't remember what weapons I have. Okay, I'm very close range. Yeah, my furthest range weapon is a... Uh, ooh, tin can. It's a tin can, which I just throw at people. No, it's my 10mm is my furthest range weapon. Uh, otherwise, I'm, yeah, pretty close range. Which, uh, you know, not the worst thing. But normally, I'm much more used to playing long range characters. Like, I like being a sniper. Being a sniper's fun. But I can handle this as it a vegetable starch. Oh, nothing else matters. I just got a bunch of adhesive. There's like five adhesive in one. Okay, and oh, you. Oh, I'm. Ugh. So one fun thing about me and how I differ from the real world to um, on YouTube, is I'm actually quite sweary when I'm allowed to be. And oftentimes, if I just stop speaking entirely and it doesn't cut away or anything, and there's just a silent moment, that's often because I just can only think of swear words to say, and I'm like, oh, it's YouTube, I shouldn't be saying naughty words. Alright, I'm gonna just slowly tap fire at this to ensure I get my hits. I'm, uh, not the strongest character. Like, I'm not building for combat, I suppose. Probably should put some perks in, but at the same time, I don't really know what perks I actually want. Um, there we go, as I say. It should hit nice and easy. Lovely, even getting a few sneak attacks in. And pop. Good, good, good. Alright, we should actually get some reasonable junk from them as well. So let's do a bit of looting and then head inside. In we pop, and annoyingly there is... Oh, I forgot, Don't there's the whole Just chill pacify out, thing, isn't there? Oh, that didn't work. What a surprise. Let's... Oh. Okay. I threw that a bit wrong, but there we go. Yeah, let's just get some throwables thrown. I'm guessing, yeah, one of us tripped this. That could have been me. Oh, you have... Yeah, an automatic. Okay. What's... Oh my god, there's a turret there. I forgot about the terror. Okay, the light here is really quite annoying. Like, yeah, this light is uh, causing serious problems. Really held your own there, 
and annoyingly, you can't shoot it out, which is just the worst. Because, <laughs> yeah, being able to shoot it out would be great, I'd just be able to deal with it, but it's only spotlights, I think, that you can shoot out. And this is just a light intentionally designed to blind you as you walk in. Which is smart on the raider's behalf, but not being able to shoot it, I feel like, is an oversight. Because they could have just put a flashlight there instead, and I would have been fine with that. Alright, I'm gonna heal up, and also use some rad away, and then just walk through here and be like, Hey buddy, you wanna get batsed in the face? No, wh why won't it- there we go, I was supposed to say, why won't it let me select the face? There we go, double shotgun blast to the face. Gorgeous. And now, isn't there another one? Nope. Not another one through here. There'll be a couple more upstairs that I'll be able to deal with. That's not bad, but the quest is done, which is important. Yep, there we go. People upstairs shouting. Some caps, which is very important for this character, I suppose. And can I... Hacking this is beyond me. Nope. No, I'm not very good at hacking or locking. Oh, and not this one, though. There we go. I can feel good about myself by doing a novice lock. I gotta say, nice. much prefer how. Uh, oh, that was a hundred caps. Uh, yeah, much prefer how Fallout does lock picking limiting over Skyrim. I complained about that semi recently uh, in a video, and yeah, having it be so you need to get perks in order to go for higher locks just kind of makes sense. I I, I like it. All right. Let's run upstairs and just shotgun blast the next few people. Who? Oh. Okay, you. Oh, you did hit me. I was about to say, did you miss me? Okay, let's. There we go. Killing blow. You. Oh no, the killing blow backfired a little bit there. Okay. Oh, Piper, get upstairs. What are you doing? A floor below. There we go. Now we're Piper there. Perfect. All right, that works so, out. Ooh, a couple of stim packs and some metal gear. Okay, okay, I'll take the metal gear. Should only be one more, so let's just walk in. Shotgun bats. Oh, you're melee based. Let's get this over with, shall we? Don't move. Oh, and then I can stop you. We can do this the easy way. What do you want from me? Uh, can you give me your we stuff? We can do this the easy. I heard you. Let's just stay always on good behavior. Yeah. Right? Oh. <laughs> she, she wants to talk to me. Yeah, I'm always on good behavior. I totally didn't get that person to surrender and then executed them. I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is... Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it. Because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night, let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. 
the town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Piper, you saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? There we go. I do quite like Piper's little story. It's it's a fun kind of one. I, I watch a lot of uh, Blood on the Clock Tower these days, and a mayor betraying like a soldier essentially. It, it, it feels right. I just realised if, if you've not, if you don't know what Blood on the Clock Tower is, uh, what I said just sounds a bit weird. It's a social deduction game, and some roles there kind of fit in. But whatever. I'm just going to loot this place and then head on out. Back to Overland Station to report our success. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. By the way, we've talked about it. And we've decided to support the Minutemen. I think it's worth giving it another chance. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Cool, so we get our caps and now we'll need to talk to Preston. Um, are either of you willing to be supply line people? You are! Oh, sweet. You can go to Sanctuary. Excellent, excellent, excellent. There we go. And, oh, you seem to be struggling there. Let me scrap that gate for you. Yeah, I'm going to scrap a bit of wood and steel, just so we've got it, you know. And then we'll go chat with Preston. Alright, Preston, old buddy, old pal. We ready to attack the castle yet? You ready to turn awesome. around? You want to talk to me, buddy? I took care of the raiders that were harassing that settlement you sent me to. The people there have decided to join our cause. That's great news. One day, we'll be strong enough to drive that scum out of the Commonwealth for good. As usual, I've got something else for you to look into. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. It used to be the Men and Men HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. It sounds like just what we need right now. <laughs> I thought you'd like the idea. So, should I have an assault force assemble near the castle? Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. I know I'm not the only person here. Who Perfect. So, yep, taking independence. That's the plan for today's episode. And how far we gotta go? Oh man, Backstreet Apparel's the closest we've got to it. I wonder, do I have... Blast, I'm one short of Aqua Boy. I was like, if I have Aqua Boy, I could just swim all the way there. Um, yeah, it looks like that's not going to work. Do I have any perks to level up? I don't think I do. And I'm not sure what I should be getting, <laughs> perk-wise. Because, like, I'm using a mix of rifles and pistols. Um... I'm not going to make it to level 20. I'm yeah, I'm really uncertain about what perks I should bother grabbing. Uh, you know what? I never go for inspiration. This is going to be a run where I go for perks I never go for, I guess. Yeah, a companion does more damage and cannot hurt you. That's, I mean, my companions never hurt me in combat, I don't think, but sure, wh why not? And I could get Lady Killer, but that seems a bit pointless. Like, there's... Not as many ladies out there as there are guys, I don't think, so... Let's get a rank of strong back as well. Yeah, let's boost up my carry weight. There we go. And now I'm going to fast travel so I can get near the castle. I'm giving it some extra thought. And... I don't have a ton of Radex and Rad away. But you know what? I'm just going to run along the side of a river for a little bit. Oh dear, there's... Yeah, let's disarm that. Oh, lovely. Wow. Okay, it was worth waste, coming over here. Yeah, what's going to waste, Piper? Um, there's going to be a mutant up ahead. Do I want to fight the mutant? Mutant's got a missile launcher, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you know what? I'm not too worried about fighting a mutant with a missile launcher. So... Okay. I'm going to run around like the edge of a water for as long as possible. And then I'll just dive in when I don't have another option. But I figure if I just keep moving... Oh, there'll be the Myalurks as well. Yeah, if I keep moving, maybe the... Oh, perfect! 
Oh, nice. The, well, okay, that's not so good. Piper is down. And the mutants, yeah, still about. But now I can actually sneak over, grab a bit of Myrlurk meat, which is, like, the big reason I'm going to the castle, because you can just get tons of Myrlurk meat. And, yep, no, 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 don't notice me. Oh, I'm pretty sure you're about to notice me. Please don't fire your missile again. Come on, buddy. You don't need to worry about me. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good, good. Yes, excellent stuff. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I can just... Because running over here will be fine. I'm going to follow the exterior of this place for a little bit longer. Uncovering, thank you, a few locations. And diving in the water probably quite soon so that I can swim around and just use some Radex to mitigate the radiation I take and rad away once it starts piling up too much. Yeah, this is a raider checkpoint. I probably right shouldn't. There. Uh, uh, uh. Did it work on one of them? Maybe it worked on one of them, but yeah, let's just get into the water now. And... <laughs> Yep, I'll just be going in and out of here. Oh, hey, there's a ghoul. Hey, ghoul buddy. I'm going to actually steal from the ghoul, just because I can. There we go. Ha ha ha. Take that, ghoul. Yep, now I'm just going to swim around uh, all the way to roughly where the castle is, because this really is the easiest way to get there. Oh, dear. I decided I wanted to discover this place. Um, why can't my... Oh, God, my gun then wasn't drawing. Yeah, I decided I wanted to discover this place so that I could... Uh, just get a bit of XP and, you know, somewhere else to fast travel to if it's convenient for the future. And it did not go particularly well. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm now being attacked by raiders. And, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Okay, apparently you're higher level than me. I can't deal with you. Uh, as you can see, though, the rads really haven't been bad. So my original strategy was good. I then was just an idiot and decided, oh, I can run off over here. This will be fine. And let's stim pack, and switch to the shotgun, and also Molotov, because, yeah, that'll do it. Can you? Can you really do this all day, you cat, are you? Nope! Okay, didn't realise I only have one shot. Hey, we're at the Pikmin Gallery. Uh, I don't think I'm going to worry about going in there for now. Um, but I will happily loot the yeah, raiders outside here. And hopefully Piper's actually able to kill this legendary kind of soon. Because it would be nice to see if there's a useful legendary item for the characters to use for a bit. Um, but where even is he? Oh, there's like three of them. Oh, that's what's going on here. Okay, let's get, yeah, some fire burning on you. Let's try and get the car set up to explode. Maybe? Oh boy, I'm, I'm now starting to wonder if I'm actually going to take the castle this video. Because uh, I realised there was another thing I should probably do beforehand first. There's a magazine to get, like, extra meat, which would be very handy to have. But I'm dubious as to whether or not I'll have time to do everything this video. Especially seeing as I'm hoping to record a bonus video today as well, which is tricky to do, considering I also have evening plans. I've, I've gone from having a very simple day to a much more busy day all of a sudden. Oh, a wounding lead pipe. I mean, I guess I'll use that as my new melee weapon, but yeah, that's disappointing. Oh, as I'm swimming, I found the uh, Yangtze. So I'm going to pop in real quickly, because I think you get it as a fast travel point. I'm not planning on actually doing this quest, I just wanted to discover it. This might have been a mistake. Yeah, so there's here, there'll be monsters. One thing I do want to check out is, can you just kill this guy? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, you can pacify him. And, oh, then he's gonna heal up. Oh boy, he's, I mean, I'm very low on health. Which isn't helping this. Let's see if I can just shoot him in the head. Oh, and then he's, oh, yep, he's gone. Cool, well, I wasn't planning on doing this. So yeah, let's fail the Hivelby <laughs> monsters. And now I have a Submariner outfit. Oh. That's bad. That's really bad. Oh, that outfit is horrible. Okay, I'm gonna loot this place and then head on out.
Here we are. Swimming up to the castle has worked pretty well. Now, the thing I'm a bit concerned about is I want to uncover the, far the castle as a fast travel location. Because I'm actually going to be dealing with it next time. But I'm worried that getting close enough... Okay. It doesn't seem to have activated. Nice. Okay. Perfect, 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 perfect. They sure haven't. Okay, so we've got that as a fast travel point. Because what I actually want to do... Hey, yeah, it is a little thing as well, the Yangtze. That's nice. What I actually want to do is head over this away? Somewhere over here. I can't remember where exactly, but yeah, this is where I want to go to wrap things up. Over to the south there, I believe is the location I need to be. And this also feels a lot safer than how I normally travel. I think there's been a few bloat flies attacking me, hence the combat music, but I got hit like once and took some rads, which I'm taking anyway by this little swim. But yeah, normally the bridge over that way, yeah, has raiders on it who are fighting and lots of combat and nasty stuff. This actually seems a much safer route. Just heading west and then south seems to work really quite well. I'm I'm pretty plows plows plows. I'm plowsed. I'm plowsed about it, you know. Yeah, I'm pleased that I came this way because yeah, this is this is a much more simple route. If I end up doing another survival mode run at some point, I think this is how I'm gonna do it. Because yep, here we go. Sunshine tidings. I probably will clear this place. Uh, to wrap things up, because I may as well, but there is one specific bit of loot that I'm going for. That's it. Uh, there's also... Why? Okay. Oh, I didn't have enough stamina or AP to gun bash. I, I often forget you need AP to do the gun bash thingy, and that happens to me an embarrassing amount of times where I just am standing at an enemy like a rad roach because I don't want to waste a <laughs> bullet or shell on it. Uh, I mean, Piper, we're we're under attack already. I think we are in trouble. Oh no, ferals! Don't worry, Piper. I'll pacify Calm it. Calm down, you freak. Nope, didn't work. I do like the voice lines. That's one thing I'll give to this perk. The voice lines for it are fun. But yeah, everything else, yeah, I'm not so big a fan of. Like the fact it doesn't work most of the time, and that when it does, all you've done is. Stopped an enemy from attacking, and it's only. I'm not gonna go and rant about it again. I, I ranted about it once. I don't think the episode where I ranted about it is actually out yet. I think that's actually coming out on the day I'm recording this, which is fun. Oh, again! There we go. Okay, now I've got enough AP. Um, I think it's just this building left. No, we've got the central one actually. The central building and this building. There'll be a. Yep, a rad roach in here. And then in the building over there, there'll be a couple of ghouls, and then I think this place will be cleared. And we can actually, like, connect it, I suppose. If I pop over to Sanctuary in a bit, we'll be able to do that. Calm down, you oh. Calm down, you freak. Okay, I calmed one of them down. I, uh, I pacified a ghoul. That's good. I then murdered the ghoul, because that's just what we do once we pacify them. And yep, let's now run over to the workshop thingy and see if we can get another settlement. Because I clearly don't have enough settlements. Yep, cool. So I'm going to scrap this place down. Or at least scrap some of it, because there's a few handy bits of junk. But the first thing I want to grab, and the important thing, is over here. Bingo. Wasteland Survival Guide, Hunting in the Waste. Permanently collect extra meat from animal kills. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna be a big deal, considering that what I'm doing next time is taking the castle in order to get my alert meat. I'm gonna get tons of it. And because I'm not too fussed about this place at all, I am just scrapping everything. Also forgot about those caps. Yeah, I am just gonna scrap pretty much everything. We're not gonna really use this as a settlement. There's, I mean, there's no one here to be fair, and I'm not planning on sending anyone. All of, well. All I'm going to do is send over, like, a supply line from someone in Sanctuary. Because I think that'll work quite well. Just give me some extra wood, steel, and is it this room? Yeah, this room has fancy stuff. So, like, screw and gears and all radix, which is handy, since I've used a bunch of that up. Yeah, going to be getting a good amount of just items. Uh, screw and leather. I was hoping wheelchair would have m more stuff, seeing as it's, like... 
one of the rarest items in the game, technically, but no, it is it is just made from, like, screws and leather and steel. Yep, so that's an absolute boatload of wood and a good amount of steel, plus some other stuff, including, like, a microscope, a high-powered magnet, some... where was it? I saw another thing. There's a desk fan, and yet crystal liquor decanter? Oh, wow, there's... There's some real good junk in here. I also got some bobby pins. And eight items. Get some Radex, Radaway, and Stim Packs. Very handy to have. And, oh, the military cap I really like. Uh, I'm not going to be wearing it, but I like that. Yeah, I'm now going to head up to Sanctuary and send an, some someone over to Supply Line. Wow, I... Well, ah, words. Taking a look at... Who has shown up? Your Carla? You don't actually work it. I've only got like four or five people who have shown up, because I guess quite a few of them are provisioners. Let's ring the bell again. And what are you over there? What are you doing? Oh, also more steel. Lovely. You... I can send Marcy on a supply line. Goodbye, Marcy. <laughs> you can get out of Sanctuary. I don't think we need you anymore. Lovely. Perfect. And that is... I wonder how much steel I have now. It'll show me in, like, structures, won't it? Yeah, 1,478 steel, 2,981 wood. That is good. Actually, let's take a look at all of my settlements real quickly. So, Overland Station, yeah, problem with defence. Sanctuary Hills, problem with food. But we don't care about these too much. Uh, just looking at the happiness, 59, 56, 65, 68... 50 on the Sunshine Tidings, and 57 on Tempines Bluff. So these are the two most recent one. No, Tempines Bluff is a little bit old. And the Starlight Drive-In, nice. 69 happiness. Uh, I don't actually think it's gone up from that is the problem. I feel like it's stagnated. Yeah, at 69%, which is a bit of a shame, because, yeah, the others... Yeah, the others have up symbols. So apparently 69%, which is... Oh, had to be that, didn't it? Is, um the amount we kind of stagnate at for the drive-in. So I wonder how many cats I need in order to make that. But that'll be something for next time. Because next time I will be heading to the castle and killing a bunch of Myalurks in order to get soft-shell Myalurk meat, which you need to build cages to catch cats in. And there's going to be a lot of cat cages. We're talking a lot, a lot of cat cages. But if you enjoyed this video, do make sure to leave a like. Feel free to subscribe to catch more of my content. Uh, tell me how Redfall's going. I'm recording this before Redfall. I'm really looking forward to Redfall. God, I hope it's good. Uh, if I've said that now. Doesn't matter. As always, thank you very much for watching. Sarge